Hey everybody, Pete and Charles here at Paddlefish uh, on its opening night. We were here last night for its uh, preview and we decided to come back tonight with my family who does not want to be on camera. I'm the one that likes that. They don't. Um, uh, Carl's on camera. Um, so we really wanted to see, really wanted to see what, how the restaurant did, because the preview last night was amazing, but really wanted to see how the restaurant did uh, with a meal. Um, so let's find out. Okay, so we just had our appetizers. I got to use my cheat sheet because I can't remember all of them. Uh, we ordered uh, the bacon and egg, which is a carabouda pork belly for $12. Uh, fried green tomatoes, which was $9. The charred octopus, which was $15. The Point Judith calamari, which was $14. And then we did the uh, tableside uh, lobster guacamole, which was $28. And that's an appetizer for four people. Actually, it's an appetizer for like 12 but uh, they bill it as being an, uh, uh, for four. Um, I had the bacon and egg carabuda pork belly, which was my, my brother and I both had that. We both said the same thing, it was outstanding. Really, really well done, really well prepared, very flavorful, great sauce down at the bottom. Uh, the, flavor, the, the flavor profile of the egg with the pork belly and the sauce was phenomenal. Uh, mom, did the, um, mom did the fried green tomatoes, and she said they were very, very good. She said delicious. Um, now, Charles, you did the charred octopus. Yeah, I did the charred octopus, and then Carl grabbed the um, calamari. Point, point Judith calamari. And we kind of uh, shared back and forth between the two of us, and both of those were outstanding. Literally the best octopus I've had and the best calamari I've had. Um, which I was impressed by both of them and most of the appetizers that they gave I mean they're giving you enough to where that appetizer could be a meal they're not skimping yeah it. so it was really really well prepared especially the octopus it wasn't charred to the point where it was dry at all um, so yeah uh, just all around a win on every yeah sport. everybody everybody gave high marks to the appetizer so we're off to a really good start uh, entrees come up next we'll see how those do Okay, so we have finished our entrees, although they took an hour and 20 minutes to come out of the kitchen. Now, it is their opening night, and so they can be forgiven for that. It seemed to me like the servers, the service staff, was absolutely ready for this night. The kitchen staff was not. I mean, that kitchen, so many tables have walked out of here without food. Um, and I think, I'm not sure why they chose to open this on a Saturday night, it's Saturday night at Disney Springs, busiest night of the week. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about this place. It was a huge media event yesterday, so there's a lot of attention paid to this. Um, I think maybe they, they kind of screwed that up. I would have opened this on a Monday and kind of eased my way into a weekend, but uh, so they, they shot themselves in the foot with that. Um, with that said, uh, everybody loved their entrees except me. I had the uh, petite filet mignon, six ounce filet mignon. That was $39 with that. I also got a side of mac, uh, mac and cheese. That was $15. Uh, the steak was inedible. Um, it was overcooked. It was dry. Um, and, I, and I don't say that lightly. It was inedible. Um, fortunately, that was the only misfire on the entrees. Uh, my mother got uh, half chicken, which was $27. My brother got the short ribs, $48. My niece got the burger, which was $19. Uh, Charles got the lobster risotto, which was $36. He also got a uh, bowl of clam chowder that was $9. And my nephew got the jambalaya, $34. And the crabbed mashed potatoes, which was $13. With the exception of my filet mignon, uh, everybody really loved their meals. Uh, Charles, talk about yours. Okay, I have the lobster risotto, which was good. Uh, quality, quantity-wise, both were excellent. Um, the one that I really, really enjoyed was the uh, clam chowder. Very smoky, very flavorful. They did a really, really good job with it. Um, I also sampled a little bit of the jambalaya and the was like, crab mashed potatoes. Uh, the crab mashed potatoes were very, very unique, very flavorful, and something that I wouldn't expect to work, but they did a great job with it. So all in all, I was impressed with 
appetizers and the main course. Yeah, the quality of the food is outstanding. Uh, portion sizes are really nice, and yeah. they're very healthy portion sizes. So you might get sticker shock looking at the, the cost. Um, you could come in here and make a meal out of appetizers. Yeah. Um, and I feel like the quality of the food, coupled with the size of the portions, really makes it a, a, a quite a good deal. Um, I'm going to overlook the problems with the kitchen because it is their opening night. Now, if they're still having this problem a month from now, not so much. Uh, this is definitely a signature dining experience. The prices put it in that category. So let's see how they do moving forward. So overall, I give them, I give them high marks on the quality of the food, uh, the value for price, and the service, the decor. They've done a wonderful job. They just need to get the kitchen staff a little more well-oiled. Um, but overall, I think this is a great addition to Disney Springs, and I think this will become a very popular restaurant. Let's hope they can get the kitchen issues sorted out. So, thanks for being with us.